Hey people, so we've got the Ryzen 5000 series base ThinkPad. So this is a P14S Gen 2. So as you can see, quite a nice ThinkPad box. Just an opening today. Just a small thank you to say that we've finally reached 1,500 subscribers. Please do like and subscribe so we can do more of um, this um, content. That'd be uh, great. Uh, this is probably one of the more underrated ThinkPad because it's physically identical to the T14 AMD version, except not really many people know about it. So sometimes you can get this at a much better price towards the end of a quarter cycle. Okay. Right, so on the inside, this is what you'll be more familiar with. On the left-hand side, there is some spec of the model. We didn't actually load this one with the OS, so this is just a Ryzen 7, 16, and um, all the other specs. We just get the scale, I think it's probably 2.4 kilos or something. Yeah, so 2.36 without the auto box. With the auto box, it's uh, 2.6 kilos. What we'll do is just get it open. As you can see, it's completely sealed. Let's take a look on the inside then. We've already actually done the Intel version of this laptop, re review-wise, so not expecting anything noticeably different. As you can see, there's a charger compartment on one side. So on the inside, so just empty box, usually documentation. We'll just put this away. So here we have it. Okay, so charger. You can configure this laptop, I think, with 45 or 65. We've actually went with the slim version of the 65 so this is going to be slightly different to what you're used to the slightly bigger 65 watts charger so just a comparison of the old 65 versus the new 65 238 grams old one. Oh wow okay so it's nearly 50 grams lighter now that's nice and uh, 320 yeah so it's quite a bit lighter it's so nice it's sealed Wow. Okay, so on the inside you have a ThinkPad. So that's quite nice, quite predictable. So they've not really changed the chassis of this model in comparison to what we're used to before. So what we're just going to grab is this is a Gen 1, this is a Gen 2. As you can see, the color on the Neural model is just a, it's a very s similar, but maybe not quite the same. It just looks a bit darker, um, very marginal. So what has actually changed is some, um, if we look on the base cover, you'll see that the fans, especially on the right hand side, there's a little bit more cooling space, but it's not really that different. I think if I can be honest, so it's uh, the same as the Intel model. On the left hand side with the AMD model, as usual, you don't have the option for the Thunderbolt. So it's just a USB-C port. It's still a USB-C port. So it's going to work with the USB-C devices. It's just not going to give you things like uh, eGPU support. We've actually got a touch screen model. So it's a little bit more glossy than I thought. Okay, let's just have a look on the inside. I can't really see any significant difference. Oh, then back the keyboard on this model. Okay. What? Who did that? <sighs> okay, this is disappointing. I didn't realize I ordered it without the backlight and without the fingerprint sensor. Okay, so if we plug it in for the first time, so we can actually switch it on. Without the charger plugged in, it's not going to switch on. We config this laptop without the OS, so not actually expecting it to boot up into Windows. Slight hollowness there. Generally, very good build quality, very good feel. This is a um, smart card reader version. If I press really hard here, you can get a little bit sense of the flex, but it's not really significant when you use it every day. At the center of the keyboard, if you press really hard, obviously there's a tiny bit of flex. When you press it onto the keyboard as usual, it seems to be good enough quality. Yeah, we've actually got a touch screen. What I'll probably say is I use um, the Gen 1 as a personal machine every day. So what I'll probably say is I'm just really grateful that this one is a touch screen because that's not, and I find myself touching the screen more times than I care to admit. So let's just try to get a sense of the weight. Gen 1 is 1.549. Gen 2, it's um, 
two nine, so twenty grams lighter, so which is about one percent. Depending on the screen and quite a few other things, um, so basically what color of the casing, what screen, and also what GPU. There's a very small margin of variation in terms of the actual weight, but it's usually, I think, probably between 1.47 to 1.56 kilos. So generally, I think build quality-wise, it feels very good. The lid goes all the way to the back, quite nice. And I think beyond this angle, it starts to lift up the laptop up and um, just gives it a little bit cooling. So what we have here is a 720p webcam with a privacy shutter. The shutter is um, not too hard to use if you have uh, fingernails. The actual quality of the webcam is probably not the best. It's um, passable for the everyday stuff. Um, if you want a good quality webcam, you probably want to have something external. Speakers, upwards firing. Keyboard, obviously you have the option for the NAND backlit as well as the backlit. So the NAND backlit option, what um, it feels is, it feels a lot more matte whereas the backlit one, it feels more smooth. It's probably down to personal preference. Having the backlight, what I find is um, it's quite useful. Um, it's just the, when you're in the complete dark, so uh, indicators such as the um, function lock and um, a few other backlight key, um, even if you have the keyboard backlight off, those lights still come on, so you can <laughs> be quite noticeable. So the keyboard itself hasn't changed that much since the last gen. So it's uh, still 1.8 millimeter travel and um, click buttons, they feel quite natural. The trackpad actually feels more smooth than the last generation. That's probably just me. So when I sort of put the finger over the old one, it's, you can hear the scratching noise. On the new one, it's a lot more subtle. So it's probably a smoother surface uh, with less friction. Let's see if there's any actual other difference. And this side, it looks the same. This side also looks very similar. So I think the color of the Sims tray has changed slightly, but I think that's just a variation. Okay, right, so it's basically the same laptop in pretty much the same chassis. If you do get this laptop, what I'll probably say is over time, you can already see my one, uh, the Gen 1, you can see the scratch on the bezel. Um, and I think the trackpad where that comes on quite easily, even though I use the external keyboard. So those are expected. This is just really a hands-on, really, just give you a sense what it's like. It probably will take us maybe a week to get this one reviewed, to be honest. So what we'll look at is a single core, multi-core performance. We'll look at the thermos, also how well it copes with the PCIe 4. I think on the AMD version, a supports PCIe 4, whereas on the Intel model, I think it um, supports that, but um, the speed is capped at PCIe 3. It's quite nice, looks quite nice, looks really predictable, nothing really new. So we'll go away and have a play. What I'll probably say is um, it would be really interesting to see how single core and multi core it compares to the last gen AMD processor. That for me is a more exciting bit because I think single core performance should have jumped quite a bit um, on this one, whereas multi core is probably similar, but marginally better. So firstly, we're quite grateful that we've um, finally reached 1,500 subscribers. It's uh, still quite a tiny channel, but we're quite happy that there's people out there watching. If you do like and subscribe, that would really help us to get the channel seen by more people. Anyway, 